Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be focused on what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, who you might be dealing with, what are your energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what applies to you, what resonates with you Aquarius, and leave the rest, and let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirit angels, guides, messages, please, guidance. Regarding love. For Aquarius, what messages, what guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding love? So what can you expect in love? What are the current energies for you in love? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Ten of Swords, Endings, Difficulties, and Strength, Leo energy being strong, keeping a, a situation, you know, under control, using different approaches, inner strength. How do you feel when it comes to this person? Judgment and the Queen of Pentacles. How do they feel towards you? Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, interesting. And where is all of this headed in the near future? Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, King of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords, which is all about communication coming in quickly, things happening quickly. Um, I feel like there's some sort of difficulty that you're having with another person because the Ten of Swords is here. I don't know if this happened in the recent past. I don't know if this happened a long time ago, but I feel like the problems are not over because the Five of Swords is here in the near future. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my... All right, let's get some more energies down. Can I get some more insight, please? Regarding the energies for Aquarius in love. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Aquarius? What do we need to know about the energies for love. Wedding bells. Wedding bells are ringing, long-term commitments, marriage, union. Something to do with marriage or long-term commitment. What else for Aquarius? Breathe in, meditation, healing, rest. So this could be that someone wants to heal a connection or there's something here where there's like time out is what I heard. Okay, let me get a romance angel. I feel like this is gonna be one of those readings where there's a lot going on. What else for Aquarius? I have one, two, three, four people on the board right now. So there could be multiple people involved. There could be a situation where, I don't know, maybe this is both of your energy showing up, but the traits is what's important, like the characteristics of this, these cards. We'll see when we clarify. Tell me more for Aquarius. What do we need to know? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, there's like a pause in a connection or like crickets. <laughs> Maybe the communication has stopped. Maybe someone's taking a break. You or this person. I don't know what happened. Maybe things ended and there's like, you know, silence. There's like nothing going on, nothing happening. So let's clarify. I actually was going to use this deck, but I want to use this one instead. Let's see what's going on. For Aquarius, can I get some clarity, please, on what's going on here between Aquarius and this person? Let's start with this Ten of Swords, which is symbolizing an ending, a betrayal, feeling like something is drawing to a close but it's very painful tell me to tell, tell me to tell me about the ten of swords spirit what can you tell me about the ten of swords four of wands something that happened at home something related to home okay what else what else do we need to know about the ten of swords 
maybe this was something that was a happy connection, a happy situation, happy environment, stable environment, and then things ended. Eight of Swords, okay. What else do we need to know? Maybe this was due to fear. Someone feeling stuck. Can you tell me about the Ten of Swords? The Fool. Starting over, starting new, a new beginning. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone is like out in the cold, but I feel it's because they didn't have the courage to do something. They didn't have the courage to be open or honest about something. They didn't have the courage to end something. They didn't have the, the courage to address something. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? But I feel like they're, someone's finding the courage now to do something about this. There's justice, Libra energy. Making things right, having the courage to address something. Three of Swords. I feel like someone wants to heal the pain or deal with this painful situation. Tell me about the King of Wands. King of Wands is very bold. They take action. Typically they take action uh, quickly. Why is the King of Wands here? Eight of Cups. Oh goodness. Tell me about the King of Wands. Five of Swords, there's that conflict again, then a Nine of Pentacles. Someone left this connection because of what happened. There's a Five of Wands. There was some sort of drama, fight, conflict between you and another person. And I think someone like removed themselves from what, that whole situation. And it like, it, it, there's an ending here that someone I feel wants to fix. I'm also getting for some of you, you know, there was choices were made that hurt another person and whatever pain this caused, it was very painful. So there's, it's not so easy to come back from it. Let's jump down here to your energies for each other. Let's start with you. Well, you have judgment and the queen of pentacles. Judgment is about a realization, a judgment call. Let's see what this is about. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Yep, the wheel of fortune, four of swords. I feel like you're taking time to figure this out to really reflect on what's going on yeah there's the hang the hangman i feel like you're seeing a situation differently aquarius and i have you on this side your person on the other feel free to flip the energies that they resonate more for you but this is just what i'm seeing i feel like you're realizing something reflecting on the past reflecting on what's happened and i feel like a change is happening because of that tell me about judgment Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Seven of Cups. Yeah, what to do next? What are my options? What choices do I have? Where do I go from here? What do I do about this? And with the Queen of Pentacles here, I'm getting that either... I feel like you are probably very... This Queen of Pentacles, which is someone that's very self-sufficient, someone loyal, someone dependable, someone reliable, someone that doesn't take risks unnecessarily, you really think about things. I think some of you were married to this person. Tell me about the six of wands, seven of wands. I feel like this is someone that's w wanting to fight for you. Yep, holding on to you. Tell me about the six of wands and the seven of wands. Why is the six of wands here with the seven of wands? Yep, ace of cups. They still care about you. They still love you and they want to fight for this. Tell me more about the Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. The Chariot, Cancer Energy coming forward. This is someone that's definitely like wanting to do something about this fight or issue. There's the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has regrets. They regret what's happened. They regret their the way they, they acted. And they wanna come forward 
Okay. Can I get some insight into this person's energies towards Aquarius? What are their energies towards Aquarius? You are my soulmate. What are their energies towards Aquarius? I'm torn. You are my soulmate. I'm torn. Maybe this person has a decision to make. Maybe they are torn up because of what happened. It's not so easy for this person, I feel. Let me get a hidden truth, Oracle. But again, I feel... I think that whatever happened here, it's big, Aquarius. I don't think this is something that someone can just say I'm sorry for. That's just the energy I'm picking up. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aquarius? I know I messed up everything. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. It's not so simple. So let's look. And I, with the Five of Swords in the, in the near future, it's like the problem persists or there's something related to the problem that's going to be happening here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Oh my gosh, the tower and the moon? Are you kidding me? Pisces energy. And then bottom of the deck, the seven of swords. Oh yeah, this is someone that I feel, this is, I know I messed up everything right here. I brought this tower on myself. I lied, I cheated, I was sneaky. I didn't do the right thing. And it caused a tower. This person, they know that they caused a tower here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The High Priestess and the Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to be like, I still care about you. I still love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You know, that kind of energy. Tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles, let's work on things. I'm willing to put in effort, time, energy into this. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, this is someone that wants to show themselves to be, you know, serious. Or like they mean what they say. There's death, Scorpio energy. I feel like this person is going to tell you they've changed. I'm different now, I've changed. But I think this is going to be up to you. Because whatever happened here, it's really hard to come back from. Tell me more about the moon and the tower. Tell me more about the moon and the tower, please. I feel like this person's gonna, oh my gosh, 10 of swords. Are you kidding me? Look at this energy, Aquarius. I mean, this is like craziness here. This is something that, I feel like someone did something to you that was so wrong, so messed up. I don't know how they could even face you, to be honest. What else do we need to know? But I feel like with this King of Wands, this Emperor energy, King of Swords, it's like they want to do something about it. Like they're not going to sit, sit still, even if that's what they should be doing. I feel like you've taken a big step back from this person. I don't have the courage to face you. Well, I mean, I don't doubt it because whatever happened here, it was messed up. I have never felt a bond as strong as ours. Yeah, you're my soulmate. That doesn't change the circumstances though. I feel like this person, maybe they do feel really bad over what happened to Aquarius. Maybe they're willing to fight to the death to get you back. But I feel like if they know they messed up everything, then they should... They should keep their distance, you know, and give you space to breathe. I'm torn. I mean, I, I really feel like I don't have much sympathy for this person. Whatever happened here was so wrong on so many levels. And everybody knows about it, I feel. You know it. They know it. So I don't think this page of cups. Oops. I don't think this page of cups is enough. They're going to try, though. They're going to try. And I feel like you're going to you're going to try to decide what to do about that. I feel like you're thinking about 
what you can realistically accept from now on because you cannot look at this person the same way. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.